guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I still can't get away from the Ford display because guess what? I'm happy to proclaim that Ford brought a lot of vehicles to the Chicago Auto Show. And one of those is something that I know you really want to see. It's this vehicle right here. This is a 2025 Ford Explorer. Guess what? This is the top trim, the platinum trim of this midsize three row SUV. But before we just dive in, let's talk about what's going on here. The Explorer, that really is a bread and butter car, a bread and butter vehicle for Ford because so popular going back to the early 1990s. But you know what? The midsize segment has moved on and Ford wants to go where the competition is because obviously competition improves the breed. Now, when it comes to midsize three row SUVs, there's certain brands that are bringing some luxury, some luxurious touches, but they're not full luxury brands. Ford though wants to capitalize on that and that's where the platinum trim comes into play. So what I wanna find out is if you're looking for the best new luxury-esque midsize SUV, do you go Mazda CX-90 or should you go with the platinum trim of this new Explorer? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the style. We have a new look and it all starts with the headlights. I love the way that they've shaped the headlight design, nice larger headlight housing, the way it kind of intersects into the grill. Full LED, of course, LED daytime running lamp, headlight and turn single. Working your way down, I think one of my favorite parts on any of the trims, which remember there's four trims for the Explorer, is the way they did these lower corners. It's a functional air curtain and you have LED fog lamps. A lot of brands are getting rid of their fog lamps. So it's nice to see not only the style, but also the functionality. Now, as we come across the front grille, like I said, this is the top trim. And an easy way to tell that is because of all of this aluminum style finish. So we have an all new grille and look at the way that they work the aluminum finish into each of the intricate parts of the grille. Of course, we have a forward facing camera, that blue oval badge, and then working our way down, I'm very happy to say that they went flat color on the lower portion. This is smart because this will take a better beating over time since it's lower to the road, full functionality, and I like the way they did a little bit of silver across the bottom. And then of course, as we rise up, looking at the lights, it's nice to have some bright lights here at the auto show. You'll notice that the hood still has that nice prominent display to the hood. Underneath the hood, you have that three liter EcoBoost twin turbo V6, 400 horsepower. This is real wheel drive based. And of course, you could get all wheel drive. Now, when it comes to the Explorer, what's nice is, is that this is gonna have that three row midsize flexibility for your family. So you can leave the third row down and have more cargo space, of course, or you can go ahead and do the full three rows. Now, when we come around the bend, of course, we have to have new wheels and tires. So you're looking at 21 inch wheels, machine aluminum with that gunmetal metallic finish all the way around. What's great is 275 on the width, all four corners. And I really like the nice, clean split spoke design, especially on this platinum trim. And it's nice to see a 21 inch wheel because you look at the competition, like the CX-90, they're bringing 21 inch wheels. The one thing I would wanna see change is I would like to see this painted. If this is a top planet, a platinum trim, would be nice for this to be all one color. But still, like I said, I like the new style. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Now, as we come down the side, on the platinum trim, you are gonna get gloss black on the mirror caps. And they still, I'm glad they did not get rid of the blacked out A pillar from the side. You're still gonna get the same dimensions. So it's one of those things that Ford felt it wasn't broken, so you don't fix it. A little bit of aluminum trim. I like the way they bring that on the platinum. Really shows that cohesive design with the Explorer name stamped in. You do have color matched on the door handles. And then look at what they did with the raised roof rail. You actually have an aluminum style finish rather than just a flat black. And that, like I said, ties everything in to this being a platinum trim. Now working towards our rear, it's one of my favorite rear ends, I think, on a mid-size three-row SUV. I really love the way that they did the lighting, 
especially on the intersecting trim here. Of course, we have our four wheel drive. Like I said, it's rear wheel drive base, but with power being sent to the front wheels, just like the Mazda CX-90. And then you'll notice that nice long roof spoiler. And then this is the only thing that I'm gonna have to zonk. That's gotta, that's gotta go. But working our way down, platinum trim, nice aluminum finish on your badging. You have that protector across the rear bumper because you know when your kids drag their junk out, they're gonna hit the bumper. This is gonna protect it. You have your full towing capability and this is standard. And then you'll notice our quad tip exhaust with that slash cut. Gives it a nice sporty look, but still classy considering that this is the platinum trim. But guess what? This is just a part of the puzzle. Let's get to the interior and see some big things that are different with the platinum. All right, guys, this is it. We're in that platinum trim. You know, here on Rady's Rides, we want to bring all the trims to you. And guess what? If you've been doing the math and you've been counting on your hands and your feet, how many have we done? This is number three. So we've done ST line, ST, and now platinum trim. The only one left is gonna be that entry level active trim, which eventually we'll bring to you as well. If you're wondering, well, Joe, I wanna go all in. I wanna spoil my family. They spoil me with so much love. Actually, they may give me more wrinkles and they make my hair gray, but I wanna spoil them anyways, because I love them. I wanna go platinum, how much is it? MSRP starting right around $56,000 for this luxurious trim. Let's see how it's different from last year to the door panels. Love the two-tone style. It makes the door panel just come alive. Soft touch material up top. And then that off-white, very elegant, but very modern. Look at the uh, trim around the door handle and those unlock and lock controls. No gloss black. I'm really digging that finish. Unique to the Platinum. We got the B&O sound system with the aluminum speaker grill cover. And look at the way they did the stitching and design in the middle of the door panel. Nicely done. Now, as you work your way down, you have enough room that guess what? Even though we're in Chicago, you could put five slices of New York style pizza that we know is the best pizza in all the land and a bottle of root beer to wash it down. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, same as always, we got that new speaker that comes across the center to give you that ultimate in eargasm when you're listening to your music. We have the Explorer name nicely presented, and I love this finish. It's like a wood, but it's not real wood, and I'm okay with that. The stitching, the soft touch. Even on the side, you have a little bit of a pocket here for a Costco Chiro, and there's an Easter egg in there, so they show a bunch of different model Explorers in there. But if you're gonna get a Chiro from Costco, you better get it done quickly because they're getting rid of it. No more Costco Chiros. WTF. Come on in. Standard across all trims is going to be this over 13 inch infotainment system. As you can tell from the fingerprints, it is full touchscreen capable. That is something that the Mazda CX-90, unless you're using Apple CarPlay, it's not a touchscreen. If you use Apple CarPlay, then it is a touchscreen. This one, full touchscreen no matter what you're using. And of course, you have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, all the different apps. There's more apps than the Apple App Store including games. That's where I want to be with this setup because you could play games right off the screen, even without a controller. Of course, you're going to have three stages of heated seats, ventilated seats, and a heated steering wheel, real knobs for the volume so you could fine tune it to precision. And then we have a little bit of switch gear, wireless charging, a place to put your Tootsie Rolls when you get that little urge where you want to have a snack. And look at all the great stitching and material, how it extends out. Think about this. Look at me. I want a Tootsie Roll, all right? Now I'm just like, I want a Tootsie Roll, boom, it's right there. I want my phone, boom, it's right there. You don't have to go digging for it like in some other vehicles. There is a bit of gloss black here, but I think the good news is most people will do this. Boop, have this open, you have USB-C, USB-A, 12 volt, and enough room for a full box, not a half a box, full box of Twinkies. This is gonna control your 10 speed automatic, two cup holders, drive mode selector knob. That Twinkie is for just for you. So after the kids eat all the Twinkies, you have one just for you, especially after that stressful day when they're stressing you out. Stitching, soft touch, open it up. You could easily put, I would say, seven, no, scratch that, eight pouches of Big League Chew. 
Make mine a mixture of regular and grape. They did have a grape flavor. I wonder why they didn't continue with strawberry and watermelon. We need to find that out. But you also have two USB C's. Seats, the leather, the stitching. How do I know I'm in a platinum? It says it right there. Platinum badge, nice soft bolstering, full electric assist, of course, for the passenger and the driver, and this ginormous panoramic sunroof. But why don't you come over to the business center? I want to show you behind the new wheel and the new dash in this Explorer. Hi, guys. Top trim, platinum trim, business time. Down below, I love the aluminum sill with the Explorer name. It with that LED lighting really makes it pop. You got that easy to get to seat controls. And I'm telling you, these seats feel phenomenal and they look phenomenal. I'm six feet tall, obviously plenty of room in here. Steering wheel, love the way they have the leather. The only thing I wish they would have added is contrast stitching around here. I think that would have been a nice touch, but you have a silver Ford oval, not the traditional blue. You do have flat black on the switch gear with a little bit of silver trim, power, tilting, and telescoping steering wheel. And then this does have the upgraded Blue Cruise. So if you ever wonder what this is right here, this is part of the Blue Cruise system, and this is getting smaller. If you look at older Ford models, it's actually bigger. So we have a smaller setup, but we don't have a small digital gauge cluster. We have a nice super in-large and in-charge setup, and then you could scroll through a cornucopia of information in that center display. The one thing that's missing for me is a head-up display, no HUD. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. But let's get to the mid row and the third row of this three row SUV. Hi right, guys, mid row time. And what's great is, of course, they're gonna carry those fine materials from the front to the mid row. Same thing with the seats. I love this new design that they have. Look at how soft that is. Captain's chair armrest, worthy of an arm, worthy of a human arm because of their size. Backs of the seats, same material. I like the way they cut out this notch to give you a little bit extra room, you do have, of course, your rear pocket for an abacus. Maybe you wanna show your kids some old tech, an abacus or a back scratcher. Not one of those ones you get that's power battery where you just go like this and it scratches, where you have to actually go like this to scratch your back. That's, those, that's how we used to do it in the good old days when we used to have to walk in the snow uphill both ways when going to school. Back of the command center, you do have your AC controls, which are nice. Two stages of heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That's a zonk to me. USB-Cs and a home power source. And we have two cup holders. Seats are great. I'm six feet tall. If I want to chill, I got a little bit of recline. They do slide as well, which is wonderful. And then on the platinum trim, instead of a manual pull handle, you just push electric and that's going to bring you into the third row now the problem is it doesn't have the same nice seat material like the mid row and the front row so your third row passengers are going to, going to feel a little bit like peasants but we do have two usb c's all the way over there which are nice and then of course those will fold down and you can maximize your cargo space how do you do that let me show you in this platinum trim of the Explorer. All right, guys, cargo area time, real simple. You just hit the button, nice electric assist. Gonna give you over 18 cubic feet of space. And what's wonderful is to put the seats down, watch this. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. And then you're gonna come over here and you're just gonna tap this button. Just give it a tap, a little tappy tap. I miss you, Chubbs. Tap, just a tappy tap. Name that movie and I'll send you a Twinkie. But the third row folds down. That's gonna give us over 47 cubic feet of space. And what's nice is, is that if you wanna get creative with your storage, you actually can move these. So you could put maybe two boxes of Twinkies stand it up so they don't slide around. You also have tons of storage underneath for all the gear that you ever wanna carry for your kids. Maybe that's where you put the snacks for the trip so when they're complaining and they're crying, just put a Twinkie right in their mouth. That'll shut them up. And then you just hit that and it just drops down. But let me know what you think. This is the top trim for 2025 Ford Explorer. Are you liking what this platinum trim is bringing? Especially with the cornucopia of standard features like the infotainment system, like the power lift gate, all the towing and everything. Let me know how you feel about this. But we definitely got to thank the whole Ford crew giving us access, special time at the Chicago Auto Show to cover this. 
But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rice family. Of course, we need to give it up LG Rady. She makes the magic happen every time that camera turns on. Thank you, Lori, for busting your butt. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.